The book I'll be introducing to you today is called Princess, written by Jean Katzen. The writer befriended the princess during her 12 years stay in the kingdom. Since there was personal danger in revealing the secrets of the women of Saudi Arabia to the West, the author named her Sultana in her book for the personal safety of the princess. As the events in these books are factual, it is much more appealing to readers who mostly know very little about Saudi Arabia. Readers are able to get a picture of what it is like to live today in the ultra-modern Saudi country whose culture is still steeped in ancient customs. Authentic details from the description of Middle Eastern clothing to the expenditure of their fabulous wealth on desert palaces to the lavish entertainment and extensive travels of the royal family to the strictness of the religion and social customs that regulate their lives are revealed. This book tells the story of Princess Sultana, a royal member of the current rulers of Saudi Arabia, who watched a set of events of shocking tragedies unfold in her life with great disappointment. She resolved that she would take an unprecedented and dangerous action upon seeing the restriction of women tighten rather than loosen. She asked a long-time American friend and writer to describe to the West as she had experienced it, the everyday life of oppression for Muslim women, whether royal princesses or village-type women. It views the events like a 13-year-old girl being forced to marry a man five times, five times their age. Young women killed by drowning, stoning, or isolation in the women's room, women banned from driving, and even how royal women are beaten, executed, and enslaved by their parents, husbands, and brothers. These appalling oppressions, everyday occurrences in other any other culture, will be seen as shocking human rights violations. It contains events in the princess's own life, beginning from this, beginning from her childhood through her marriage, motherhood, and her adult coming of age right up and through the Gulf War to the present day. The most startling revelation of all, however, is that the lives of women in the fabulously wealthy family, even royal princesses, are rep repressed and constricted. Under the strict Muslim interpretation of the law of the Quran, Muslim women, whatever their station in life, are punished and penalized for any supposed violation of a man's family honor. Similar behavior by Muslim men, however, is ignored. An example from the book would be how a young woman who was stoned to death from bring, for bringing dishonor upon her family, she had been raped by her brother's friends, who then lied and claimed that she had enticed them. What is most moving about this book is the fact that in the end, after we come to know the fiery spirit of Sultana from early days as the baby of that family, to the time she herself is the mother of daughters, I feel sad like her that although her individual efforts have made a difference to various individual women, in reality, Sultana has brought no change to the repressive society. As a Muslim woman, she still has little influence. Thank you.